I'm now on the MVPS stand with David Stansfield. Good afternoon, David. Good afternoon, sir. And welcome to Classic Motor Show 2017. Thank you. Could you tell me a little bit of history on how it got started? The, uh, the MVPS, well, it got started some uh, 40, um, 40 odd years ago um, by a group of enthusiasts uh, who was um, interested in old vehicles and uh, it's just gone on from strength to strength year, in, year on year and we, we've got over 100 members now. Um, we sort of cater for all sorts of uh, people with di different sorts of vehicles. Um, we're a friendly little club, we have uh, meetings every month. Uh, we have speakers and different things and we have various outside events. Um, we have an auction every year, which I do the auctioneering. Um, so, uh, so these meetings, well, you offer advice to members and stuff? Well, yeah, um, any new member that comes, um, if they, there are a lot of us uh, in the club who are uh, experienced and um, engineers and mechanics or um, different, uh, different things, I mean, and uh, if people want any help or advice, then we're willingly given the help and advice, uh, or whatever. I mean, some of us, I mean, I went round and sorted the man's car out not very long ago because he, he got a problem. The AA couldn't get him going. I went round and got him going. <coughs> but things like this, whatever, I mean, we, we do all sorts of, try and keep it a friendly, yeah. uh, club and uh, we do what we can for, for, for the, the members. For the members. So the, the models you've got, the vehicles you've got on the stand today, could you give me a little brief history on any of them? Yeah, well this one here, which is the uh, MG Midget, but uh, it belongs to uh, Wilf over there right. and uh, he has uh, put an Alfa Romeo engine in it and all the uh, Alfa Romeo running gear and uprated the brakes and different things and uh, he enters in a, a bit of com competitive uh, competition. Competition, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what about the, the Triumph? The, uh, the Triumph motorbike uh, that belongs to a, another member, and the, the gentleman who's bought it is actually the chairman of the club, and uh, he's restored it and done the gearbox for him. The gearbox uh, got a got a tooth broke. It's actually got a five-speed gearbox that has, and. Uh, there was a tooth broke on the main shaft and the gentleman that, that done it for him, he is a re retired mechanic um, and uh, so he done the gearbox for him but the man who owns it uh, wasn't too bothered about having it back. Uh, he said, well, just use it. You know, you've repaired it, just use it. So he, he's using it and he brought it here. So what about the, the Triumph TR? Well, the, the Triumph TR that uh, belongs to another member, that, uh, David Gillespie, and uh, he uses it, uh, he's restored that um, pretty well all himself, and uh, he uses it as a daily driver. He, you know, it's, um, it's used regular and driven. Uh, and what about the, the white one in the distance, the vintage model? Well, that is mine, that's the Model T Ford. Um, I rebuilt it from nothing, it was in a million pieces when I got it and uh, I've had it on the road 20 years now. Um, I've totally uh, rebuilt the whole lot um, and uh, last year I rebuilt the engine again, uh, it needed uh, yeah. a bit of attention so, uh, but it gets driven regularly, uh, it doesn't get trailered anywhere, I've driven it to the Isle of Wight, I've driven it to Wales, yeah. Yorkshire. Bewley, various places, okay. and uh, it's um, a totally different thing to drive, although it's a very easy car to drive. Um, the, uh, the three pedals, uh, the right-hand pedal is the brake pedal, the middle pedal is the reverse pedal, the left-hand pedal is the uh, slow speed, the clutch and the high speed. Okay. Uh, the handbrake also works the clutch. Um, the accelerator is on the right hand of the steering wheel and the ignition advance is on the left hand of the steering wheel. But so how long did it take you to get used to all that? <laughs> uh, 
about half an hour. <laughs> um, no, be fair, about yeah, half an hour. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I'm a mechanic by trade and I've been involved with vehicles for many, many years. Um, I, I've driven museum vehicles yeah. and I've driven all sorts of things. Um, and I've done heavy goods, I've done advanced driving, all, all things like that. But, and I'm very adaptable. So I, as I put it together, I knew exactly how things worked and what made things tick. I mean, you can't possibly crash great or crunch your gear and you can go into reverse quicker than anything known to man. You go into reverse while you're still going forward uh, without causing any damage. Well, so what about the show? Has the show been beneficial to the club? Has there been many new members? Or um, Yes, yeah, there's been uh, a bit of interest in the club. Uh, we've been given some... Uh, some of your leaflets uh, out. Yeah. The, yeah. the bulletins and uh, there's been quite a few people oh, have showed interest uh, in the club. Um, and, uh, you know, we... We just keep on, I mean, the, uh, we've had a wander around, we've bought one or two things and this yeah, and yeah, that, yeah. and uh, yeah, there's been quite, quite a bit of interest in the club, yeah. Well, thank you very much for the interview, David, and your information on the club, and I hope you have a, uh, a good rest of the show and uh, it all goes well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Bye.